Hey everyone, I'm Herrick Kimball out here in my garden and today I'm going to show you something that is absolutely amazing. If this doesn't pique your interest, I don't know what will. It's not these pea vines, it's something different. It's what Growtherm Plastic is doing in my garden. This is a video about Growtherm Plastic. I have no connection to the Growtherm company, but I, uh, I am a uh, very satisfied user of their product. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Right there is a zucchini plant in a mini bed. And that is not the amazing thing, but you need to see that in order to understand the amazing thing I'm about to show you. That right there is the amazing thing. That hoop cloche, which I'm gonna tell you how to make, is covered with Growtherm plastic. And inside that cloche is a summer squash plant that was planted at exactly the same time as that zucchini. I'm going to show you now over here the open Growtherm cloche with the summer squash planted at the exact same time as that zucchini. While the zucchini plant that you saw, and squash and zucchini are basically the same thing, summer squash, that uh, zucchini plant you saw was attacked by bugs and it was small, it was weathered. This, on the other hand, this plant here is uh, just ideal. It's been in an ideal environment with this growth therm hoop cloche. Pretty soon, it's going to start to blossom. And that's when I'll take this growth therm covered hoop cloche off. And this plant is going to do uh, so much better than that zucchini that was not planted under a growth therm hoop cloche. I'm gonna show you the plastic, the growth therm plastic and what is so special about it. But first, one more time, I need to show you this poor little zucchini plant that has not been protected with a growth therm hoop cloche as compared to this uh, squash plant that has been in a growth therm hoop cloche. And there you can see the one next to it. Both beautiful specimens. This right here is growth therm plastic. It doesn't, doesn't look very uh, exciting, does it? But it is an amazing product. It's clear plastic, obviously. And what may not be obvious from this distance is that it's ventilated, has lots of little holes in it. I'm gonna read you the description of this product in the Territorial Seed Catalog. This is the only place that I know sells growth therm, Territorial Seeds. So here's a description of it. Growth therm perforated transparent film designed to warm up the growing environment for heat loving crops like melons, eggplants, peppers, etc especially good in northern gardens and for very early plantings. Gardeners can expect daytime temperatures under this film to be almost 10 degrees higher than under Remay. Growtherm is better than floating row covers for crops that need high light intensity and warmth. The one mil film has 300 holes per square yard for ventilation, eliminating the need to remove the cover on a hot day. So this Growtherm film, as they call it, is available from them in two sizes, six foot by 50 foot and six foot by 20 foot. The six foot by 50 foot costs only $19.95, and this can be reused. So years ago, after I bought a small piece and used it and realized how good it was, I bought a whole roll. At that time, they, they sold whole rolls, a lifetime supply basically. I don't know how many feet are in this, but it's a whole lot more than 50. Like I said, a lifetime supply, and I'm glad I have this. If you have watched my previous videos about the uh, tire sidewall cloches, which those squashes that I've just showed you, they were started under tire sidewall cloches. I have videos about that. I think I have two videos, but this growth therm is what I use on those. And we'll go look at one real quick for people who haven't seen those videos. But when you take a six foot piece of this material and you measure out six foot and you fold it twice, you end up with squares like this, three foot by three foot. And then you just cut it with scissors and you've got four covers for the tire sidewall cloches. So let's take a look at those cloches real quick. 
Right here is a the tire sidewall cloche I planted a few days ago with cucumbers. And there's the growth therm on there. And we'll take a look underneath. I'm sure the seeds are not up, but we've got the tire sidewall right here. Let's zoom back, back. That holds the plastic down. All right, very simple. I need to do a video about cutting those tire sidewalls out because it's so easy. But here's the growth therm, three foot by three foot. And there you can see the wire supports, it's just number nine wire. And you can um, bend it and make a support like that. And I planted three little spots, put some cucumber seeds in each spot. And then I took some uh, grass and I just laid it over those planted spots, just not very thickly, but just a little bit. And you can see that it preserved the moisture. Just a little bit of mulch like that will preserve that moisture where the seed was planted. And actually, look at right there. Isn't that something? We got a cucumber coming up. Wonder about this other one over here. Yeah, there's one coming up there too. See it right, right there. So, yeah, so this is, so the idea is once the uh, seeds start to come up, I move the grass away and um, put the, put the uh, growth therm back on. This, this is the easiest starting cloche you will ever see. You will, I mean, I've used those for years and years, that idea. These larger hoop cloches have served their purpose here. The plant has gotten itself off to a great start under that protected environment. So now I can take the hoops away and um, I can get them set up over those cucumbers I just showed you so that um, when, when, uh, when they get bigger and I take that small starter cloche off, I can go with these. Now there's no reason why I couldn't just start with a hoop cloche, except that I would use these hoops, which I have a limited supply of. So I can, I can rotate them around, you know, as needed. And one of the beautiful things about mini beds, all the same size, is that the material to cover these hoops will work on all the beds so that it can be moved around. And I'll talk about the size in a minute, but what I want to show you here is how um, these hoops work and how I'm attaching the growth therm so it doesn't blow away. If you're familiar with this mini bed gardening system, you know that these 30 inch by 30 inch mini beds are indexed <clears throat> with three re-rods in uh, each corner. So these re-rods are perfect for this half inch PVC pipe. Okay, and uh, three is not enough, so I have to drive an extra one in to accept the uh, PVC pipe like that. And this is just a uh, half inch PVC that I bought at uh, Lowe's. It comes in 10 foot lengths and you cut it in half. So these are five foot long and they, uh, they bend right around and you just put them right over those, those rods like, like so. Okay, and they're, they're very sturdy. To have something to secure the growth therm to, I took, I put a screw in right here, in one side of the mini bed, and then I took this uh, very strong polypropylene bailing twine, and I ran it all the way around, and it, you can see it, I think you can see it dug in to the wood there, that's no problem, so it's a little loose, but it still, it serves the purpose just fine. And that gives a place to secure this plastic. And I started out securing the plastic using clothespins, all right? Because I because I make clothespins. I have a business, classicamericanclothespins.com. And you can just, you can wrap that around, bunch it up, secure it with clothespins. But uh, not everybody makes clothespins, and I sell these for quite a, a lot of money. Shortly after uh, showing this idea, in a previous video some years back, Everett Littlefield, the late Everett Littlefield out on Block Island said that he bought a bunch of these binder clips. These are inch and a quarter binder clips and they're relatively inexpensive, certainly less than classic American clothespins. And uh, yeah, they work just fine. So you can just clip them on. You see it's rusty, it's been used for years, still good. 
you just don't want to uh, lose them because they're hard to hard to see if, if you're in the if they're in the soil. And I've used binder clips actually more than clothespins uh, in recent years. So anyway, that's how you secure it. Okay, very easy, very secure. This idea of the polypropylene uh, to secure hoops, material over hoops, is in my Planet Whizbang idea book for gardeners where I talk about caterpillar cloches and I believe the guy's name is Mark Albert. This is his idea. He has, he has a system for using this to make long, this polypropylene twine to make long caterpillar cloches. That's in my book if you're interested. These are, I guess, short caterpillar cloches. I'll leave that polypropylene right there on that frame for future use. And these frames are now uh, going into their sixth year. Some of them are showing decay. That polypropylene will help hold them together. Hopefully I can get two or three more years out of them. But I, I wanna show you real quick. I just noticed, you see that? You see that little squash? Isn't that something? Zephyr. We love our Zephyr squashes. That's what that is. If you are a mini bed gardener, if you have the same beds like I have, and like I recommend in my mini bed gardening report, my trilogy, which is at uh, planetwhizbang.com, I'll put a link below. But anyway, if you have the mini beds and you want to use growth therm on hoops, you're going to want a piece that is six foot wide, which is the width of the material, the growth therm by seven foot long. And uh, here I have cut out a piece that is six by seven. And I did something this year that made my life so much easier. You see that little uh, paint mark? That is in the middle of the six foot width. And that goes on the end. And that allows me to uh, put that mark, line that mark with the center of my mini bed or close to the center on both ends and makes it very easy. So I know that where the seven foot um, length is and the six foot length, just by looking at that mark on the six foot length, and I can get it aligned over my frames very easily with that. Okay, so there's a little tip. Like I said, these are, these are reusable. If you take care of them, which is something that I have not always done. By the way, I've seen these on my mini beds, on the hoops, get pummeled by a pretty severe thunderstorm and they they took it no problem the plant inside was uh was uh, unaffected totally unaffected so i want to conclude this discussion of growth therm with a technique an idea for storing it for future use in past years i have thrown it away because it got all crumpled up and dirty in the garden i didn't pick it up when i should have or I have brought it here in my shed, stuffed it on a shelf, and the uh, mice have eaten it, or I just looked at it the next year and thought, ah, I don't wanna use that, I'm gonna take a new piece out of the roll. Well, I don't wanna do that anymore. I'm trying to get this shed, which I would, wouldn't dare at this point show you the rest of, uh, organized for my garden things. I don't have organization in here. I'm going to get it. It may take me more than just this year, you know, because time constraints. But I'm getting a system together for the growth therm to organize it uh, and so that I can put it away easily and come and get it easily. My garden is right out there, just a few steps away. So this is, this is ideal. Now, I have a video. I need to put a plug in here. I have a video that shows how I came up with an organizational system for my workshop that is deluxe and cheap. It's, it's, uh, just, it just hit me like a bolt of lightning. I could do this. Check that out because it's working. You know, it's months later now, it's working. It, it's working. Anyway, here's my three foot by three foot uh, tire sidewall cloche plastic. Here, I need to make a, a bigger hook because I have more of these. But here are the number nine wire Vs, you know, V-shaped uh, pieces of metal. And I'm gonna have those hung somewhere in here, like so. And then I have my growth therm plastic. And here's the concept. When I need it, I just come here and I have a piece of the polypropylene twine. It goes up over a hook and I can just take and um, off of the screw here, put it up on this screw and I've got my polypropylene uh, twine attached to this uh, clamp. 
and I've got my pieces right here. So there's, if I need to make one, there's my piece. And I clamp it right back on and back up goes the plastic. And so we've got organization for that. And I'm going to, I don't know if it's gonna stay here, but it's here for now. The idea is valid. And I'm going to make another one similar to this for the, uh, the hoop covers, the six foot by seven foot hoop covers. All right, so yeah. There you go. That's a video all about Grow Therm. Get a small piece from the um, uh, Territorial Seed Company and, and try it for yourself. I think you'll like this. All right. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody.